Look, the truth is, if you ain't got your dog's attention, you ain't got sh down. Seriously. If you can't get your dog's attention in a lot of the environments, then there's no reason to worry about sit down, heal, or stay. Find a quiet space where you and your dog can hang out together for a little while. That could be your front yard, your backyard, your driveway, maybe your garage. You could even start in your living room. A longer leash will give your dog more room and limit frustration. Make sure you have the treats that your dog will eat in this environment. You didn't bring treats when you came outside with your dog that you're struggling with. All right, look, I'm down to help you with your dog, but you gotta take it serious. Subscribe to the channel and click the link so that you can get the free resource to get you moving in the right direction with your dog. Go get the treats, the good ones. Don't be stingy. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You're going to hang out in that nice quiet area while your dog explores. When he decides to give me the attention, I'm going to make a big deal out of recognizing that he is checking in with me and I'm going to give him a treat. I'm gonna, yes, raise my voice and run away from him so that he gets some excitement for choosing me. If he wants to stay with me, I can give him another treat, walk away, he can have another treat, or I can even turn it into a game. Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? The more you do this, the more your dog is likely to pay attention to you. What this does is rewards the dog's idea to pay attention to you. Don't nag them, don't beg them, don't pull on the leash or call their name. Let it be their idea and give them everything. Until this is super easy, don't start asking them for more difficult things.